Hello, this is Mike Wade, and welcome to this TTR video featuring Tom's Tools and yours truly. Stock and options trading has large potential rewards, but also large potential risk. You must be aware of these risks and be willing to accept them in order to invest in the stock and options market. Don't trade money you cannot afford to lose. I'm not offering any buy or sell recommendations on anything whatsoever. Everything that I'm about to share with you should not be construed as advice. All prices are in U.S. dollars unless noted otherwise, and feel free to pause the recording and read the balance of the disclaimer if you so choose. So in this video, I want to talk to you about the vertical spread ranker within Tom's Tools. In a nutshell, what does it do? It picks stocks, it picks bullish and bearish stocks, and finds the fastest doubling vertical spreads for you. It's one-stop shopping, click a button and you have some trades to consider. We're going to hop into that vertical spread ranker in just a second, but what we're going to cover today is fast doubles with vertical spreads using Tom's vertical spread ranker. I'll cover two main things, the vertical spread ranker itself, how does it find bulls and bears, and how does it select the fastest doubling vertical spreads, and then I've got some ideas for you to even make the directional probability of picking direction even better. So let's just hop right into the tools and get started. First off, in order to demonstrate, I'm going to backtest to 6-3-2019. Be sure to use this backtesting tool here. It gives you the ability to actually test your systems historically and make sure they actually work. The searcher I'm going after is under searchers, single strategy, and vertical spreads right down here towards the bottom. It's a very simple ranker. It does two things. First thing that it does, if you want it to, is to apply the call spread bullish filter to stock list using the 10 and 16 day moving average crossover over the last 30 days. I'm going to leave that on as yes. You can turn it off if you like and then pass your own stocks. I'll do that in just a few minutes to show you how to do that. The other thing you could do with it is also to do the same thing with put spreads, to buy put vertical spreads. We're going to go with call vertical spreads to keep it simple. And really, it's so simple to demonstrate. All that I need to do is click the search button. Notice before I do that, that the call spread stock list is already selected. These are stocks with very tight bid-ass spreads. Click the search button. Doesn't take long at all. We've got our candidates back and you'll see here that we have 30 or so candidates to look from. Let's take a look at the results here. So we have the stock name. We have various uh, pictures. We've got the actual stock price showing the 10 and 16 day moving average crossover. Notice here right under my cursor that there's a bullish cross. The purple line or the 10 day moving average is crossing above the 16 day average which is a light brown line. So there we get our bullish cross. So that's one way to pick direction. There's others. I'll give you an idea or two at the end of this video that you could also pass your own bullish stocks. But the scanner itself will actually find them for you. You also have the stock price close, the actual call spread. In this case, it's buying the 104, selling the 106 call. This is June 21. So given that it's June the 3rd in my back test, this is really an 18-day trade. That's one of the characteristics of short-term fast doubling call spreads and put spreads is that they're going to be using short-term options, typically less than 30 days. You've got the quotes for, for the actual legs of the trade. You've got your slippage. You want that number to be as small as possible, preferably less than 0.5. In this case, Yum Brands is at 0.11, so that slippage is in good shape. It's going to cost us $92 to get into the trade. Maximum profit of 108, so that's just over a double. And there's our maximum risk, which will equal costs. And then we have our days to expiration, which is 18 days, and then days to earnings, which is 59 days away. We don't want to hold this trade over an earnings announcement, so we have plenty of runway to do that. And then probably the most important column in the list here is stock percent to double. Notice this spread here on Yum has the smallest percent to double. This spread will double with only a 1.66% move up in the actual stock. So think about that. The stock goes up 1.66% and you double your $92. To pull up the actual spread, you click either of the legs here under call quotes. And when you do that, you'll see something that looks remarkably like this. This is again on June the 3rd. This is the spread that it came up with. We're going to buy again, as I said, the 104 call for June 21. This is an 18 day trade and we're going to sell the higher strike call above it. Here's the risk graph for a long call spread. This is our long call here. That's our short call. You can see risk over to the left, profit over to the right. That's our break even. The stock price is right here at the blue line. What we need is a stock to, to go up just a little bit, 1.6%. And then we're up here in this profit zone. 
and that's where our double lies. So let's see what happens on this particular trade. So let's see what happens. I'll take us all the way to June the 14th. Notice here what happens. The stock actually did make its run up. Look where the stock is now. And you can see that we have seven days left. So only in 11 days, the stock moved up. Time was working for us, moving these colored lines into profit here. And as time passes, we're in a theta positive trade now of 1.02, which means that as long as the stock is up in this area here, time decay is actually helping us. Now, we got a double on this particular day, 614, as I said. We've got over a double. This is a place where you'd want to take this trade off. So rule of thumb when you're trading these fast moving doubles is to take them off when you double your money. And you can put a good till cancel order in to take care of that. Now back to the ranker again. Now notice here, you don't actually have to have the ranker pick direction. You can turn that off, but then you're gonna to need to pass it either a stock that you think is bullish or a stock list. Let me give you an idea. Let me show you something that's one of my favorite rankers in Tom's tools. And this is under stocks, stock rankers, and close percentage change. I like to find stocks that are setting bullish all-time highs or have moved the most over the last, let's say, six months. And this is what this scanner does. I've, set, I've shown this to you before. There's a video on it. But I want you to go ahead and come in here, click bullish, and then go after the S&P 500. Those are liquid optionable stocks. Click the search button. Now notice here that it's, it's going to give you a ranking of stocks that are the most bullish, the latest close, and the previous close over the last 120 trading days. But basically, just take the top 50 of these. These are fast-moving bullish stocks. They've been moving up the most in a bullish fashion. So let's save that into my stock list. So what I did is I changed that number to 50. And then I clicked replace. And the top 50 are saved into that list called my stock list. And then going back into the call vertical spread ranker, if I select my stock list now, it's going to be passing, and I'll turn this off here, it's going to be passing a list of bullish stocks derived with another function in Tom's tools, the percent ranker. And then I hit the search button and let's go see if there's any bullish setups on this one. And notice here we do. We have Hershey's. This is a spread on Hershey buying the 132 call, selling the 135 call. Again, an 18 day trade, 52 days to earnings. 1.65% move up in the stock and we have our double. Let's just take a quick look at this to see how it actually worked out. It might not work out. They don't always. But I find that when I do it this way, it tends to actually work out a bit better. So let's go to 6.3, let's go to 6.10, 10 days later, and let's see how this one actually performed. You can see here that the stock actually moved up. We got a double, pretty close to a double, uh, just after about a week on this one. Going forward a bit further, you can go plus one day and just move this forward and see how the stock actually performed. Plus one day gives us 93%, and then I, the next day, 112%. So that's another option to supercharge your directional probability. So as a review, if you wish to use the vertical spread ranker and have it find your directional opportunities for you, this is what you do. You pop into the ranker, select call spreads. Now, if you want to do something bearish, then of course you select put spreads. And then you go after call spread stock list. That's the default list. This will automatically be put into that slot for you. So nothing really to change there. Click your search button and then go after the stocks in the list. Pick the ones that you think look the most bullish to you. If you wanna make your bullish probability even higher, you might choose to use a ranker like close percent change ranker. And what you do there is select bullish. If you're bullish, of course, if you're bearish, select bearish. Go after the S&P 500, click your, click your search button. Once the results come back, save the top 50 into my stock list by clicking replace. Take my stock list and then use that list in the vertical spread ranker and that will give you some higher probability directional trades all right thanks for watching this video hope you enjoyed it have fun with those rankers and i will see you next time